Hey, what's going on? This is a rant video. I know that people hate hearing people complain, but hear me out. This is a legitimate complaint. Uh, it's, it's, so what I'm complaining about is how the min and max function on multimeters operate. Now, they work almost in an identical fashion, except this specific one works in the manner that I like. And I'm gonna show you it, and it's such an easy thing. Good job, Southwire which also means the EX3300 series x are probably the same, because this looks like it's just a basically a rebadged x 300 series, but it, it might not be, but it looks strikingly sim similar. There we go. Okay, so I haven't tested it. I believe this probably works like any other crappy one, the, the type that I hate. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how most of them operate, which should be... How this one operates, I would imagine. So, yeah. So if you if it says max, that means that it's showing the max on the screen, and it's recording the maximum. But this isn't. Oh, wrong probes. So this isn't actually what the probes are measuring. This is actually the current max. So now if I come over here, and touch it to my five volt reference. Oh, it's AC, sorry. Oh, I hate the ones with shared... Okay, now it's on DC. So, this is the current max that it's read. So now if I touch it... Now, this isn't a live reading of what's at the probes. This is actually the highest recorded uh, maximum reading. So, right now, there's nothing on the probes. This is just noise that it read. So as soon as I touch this to my 5-volt reference... Oh, it's a Oh, it's another thing I hate. Okay. That's another annoyance is that with most of these, when you use min-max, it locks you into one specific range. So I need to basically touch it to my reference. Actually, let's just manually range it to there. Okay. So now we're in the voltage range. We're going to hit min-max. So now this is the not what the probes are reading. Probes are shorted, should be reading zero. No, this isn't what the probe's reading. This is showing what the maximum recorded value is. So now if I touch it to my five volt reference, you should see this spike up to five volts. How is that out of range? What the fuck? Okay, now we're just in voltage range, hopefully. So now we're in max, like I said, it's this isn't what's on the screen, or what's being read from the probes, this is actually just the largest recorded maximum. So now if I touch it to my 5 volt reference, the max it's read is 5. So there's the lowest, was negative 2, but that's noise. But there's no way to go back to actually seeing what's being read at the probes. So right now it's zero at the probes, I'm shorted, but there's no way to go back to see. This is even worse than some of the other ones are. Some of the other ones will at least do some little blinky shit, but so basically this is actually, this is how most of them work right here. So the only way to see what live readings at your probes are is just to hold this and then you go back to your regular mode and our auto power off turns back on. It, usually when you, you're measuring anything on any multimeter, most of them will disable auto power off. But anyways, now it's reading zero volts, which is basically what's correct. This is actually reading a live reading. So watch, we touch it to five volts, 10 volts, it's fine. Now let's go back into min max. It's cleared, it cleared out the readings. So on this, POS, I'm not, I don't want to call it, it's not a piece of shit, it's, it's a nice multimeter, but the min max function is worthless. There's no way for me to record min or max and be able to read the live uh, feed of whatever is being measured right now. So if you wanted to see what your voltage is doing while you're recording a minimum or maximum, you need two multimeters in this case, because this one can't do both. You're either viewing the maximum stored value, the minimum stored value in the variable or the memory register, or showing what's live on the screen and not recording min or max at all. I can't do both, and that is just pointless and crap, and I hate it. And it's not, it's, you might say that that's stupid for me to complain about such a stupid thing, because min max isn't used often, but how hard would that be to implement that? It's such an easy little thing tiny little tweak to get that to operate in a more useful manner because that's useless that way. 
So, now I'm gonna show you if I can get these untangled up. Now I'm gonna show you what a good multimeter with design engineers that actually thought this through, how those will work. So, we'll go to voltage. So on this one, if I hit min, max, it shows max, and this is the maximum recorded value. This is just the same as how uh, the Klein worked. If I hit it again, now it shows the minimum. And then now it's blinking. Now according to the manual, the manual's wrong. According to the manual, when it's blinking, it's not actually recording, but it is. So watch, if we go back to max, max is 63 millivolts, min's 77 millivolts, and when it's blinking, it supposedly isn't doing anything, but it's actually showing the live value. So if you short it, this should go to zero. Now, now watch, we're in a mode where we're able to actually see what's being read from the probes. I'm gonna touch it to my five volt precision voltage reference. Of course it's doing the stupid, uh, so let's do the ranging. That's another thing that's really annoying to me, but. Okay, so it's blinking. So we're recording mins and maxes. So, boom. Okay, so I have a new maximum of um, five volts. Now, I'm gonna hook it up in reverse polarity to my 10 volt reference. So now, it'll get a new minimum of negative 10. Okay, and now we're going back and we're reading the zero volts for my shorted probe leads. So this is the live feed, which is what you want while you're while you're recording your mins and maxes, I want to be able to see what's actually going on at the probe. So what if your project starts browning out and going crazy? You know, something something can get damaged and you wouldn't know because you can't read what's actually going on. You're only able to view mins or maxes on ones like the Klein or basically any other. I shouldn't pick on the Klein. It's really any other multimeter. They all do it the stupid way. Now watch, if I hit max, five volt was the max that we read. Negative 10 volts, what we read. And that's freaking awesome. It, it, it basically lets me view what's at the probes live and still be recording mins and maxes in the background. That's freaking awesome. On all the other meters, to go back to being able to read what's at the probes, uh, it makes you go out of min-max mode and basically clear the min-max memory, which is stupid and pointless. So this is how they should all do it. If you're not going to do the fancy touch hold like Fluke or any of the other ones, or, you know, let's say if a Fluke 289, those show min, max, and average on the bottom of the screen and still shows you the live reading. So in those, you don't even need it to do something like this. But on these with a single display, if min, max is going to be useful to me, I want it to be able to read and record min, maxes and show me the live readings from the probes. And so Southwire did an excellent job. And the funny thing is their manual's wrong. The manual says if, if min max is blinking that it's not recording, which is bullshit because you just saw me prove <laughs> live on camera that it is recording, and that's awesome. So the, it, I'm glad it doesn't do it the way the manual says it does it because that would be bullshit. It, it wouldn't be any better than all the other ones, but uh, this is how they should all do it. It's excellent. So good job, Southwire. Bad job, all the other meters that I've tested in the $50 range. Now, I haven't tested every single one to make sure that that's not how it does it, but I'm almost positive. I'll look through, and if I find one, I'll... I'll uh, correct myself, but I stand to be corrected, but but uh, this is how it should be done. And it's such a simple little thing that makes this infinitely more useful than the way all the other meters do it, where you basically can't see a live view of what's being read through your, through your input jacks. I think if they're going to include min-max, it should work like this to where you can record while you're seeing uh, the live value. So I couldn't have possibly made, couldn't have possibly made such a simple video so long. I apologize, I'm a long-winded kind of guy, but I just wanted to complain about that because surely I'm not the only person who thinks that uh, the way this works is excellent and the way it works on every other meter out there pretty much sucks. Because, really, why, why, <laughs> why would I need two multimeters to measure voltage and then have one of them only measure min-max and it's not able to show me the live voltage reading? That's just bullshit, so. <sighs> oh, and uh, as far as... Why I haven't recorded a video for a while, I have, I have like 200 gig of video I need to cut and that's going to take me a long time, but trust me, it'll be worth it. And I guess I should give you a sneak peek so you believe me. Here is what I'm cutting. Oh yeah, so that'll be coming up possibly in a day or two. I keep saying that, but I work a full-time job. 
10 hour shifts and so when I come home it's really hard to find time to do this especially because my lab is more of an office lab and my wife's computer happens to be in here. Uh, I'm in the process of building her a pretty BA secondary computer to put in the guest bedroom with a nice desk we need to go get tomorrow probably from Ikea or somewhere. Once we get that in then I can kick her out more often and I don't have to feel guilty that she has to use her laptop because then she'll have a full size computer to use so then I'll be able to get these videos in more quickly. Uh, quickly doesn't mean quality is lower, it just means I'll actually be able to get them in and you won't have to wait two weeks for me to put up a new video. Uh, I actually have several other videos in the meantime, but I'm not even going to touch them until I get the uh, $50 multimeter shootout stuff done, because that's what I'm in the process of doing, so yeah, sorry for the lack of videos. But I got some really cool ones coming up, so sit tight. See ya!